Hey guys, Christina Marie here, and I apologize in advance. There will be a dog barking in the background, most likely, because my neighbor apparently isn't home, or the dog wants to be let out or something, and my cats are freaking out. Like, Rain is staring out the window like, when is the dog coming? I need to know so I can see it and hide. It's kind of comedy right now. But anyway, I wanted to bring you guys a little haul video. I know a few videos ago I said I'm not hauling books right now, but you know, every now and then. Well, you can break your own rules. Rules? Break your own rules. There are two reasons that I have a book haul today, and I will get to those two reasons during the haul. So just let's just go ahead and just get started. It's a beautiful day today. 71 degrees in the Midwest here in Kansas City, and I am loving it I am loving it loving it loving it so let's just get started um you may notice I'm wearing the glasses one because I'm wanting to wear my glasses more and two because my eyes are like nope when it comes to contacts no 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 pollen in the air eyes are not having it but let's get on with this video um so I went to um half price books to pick up a new book and I ended up picking up a few other things as well. The first reason I went to Half Price Books is because of this puppy here. This book is finally out, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, I believe that's the name. Here's the cover, so, so pretty, and it was 20% off, so I said, hey, let's just go to Half Price Books, get it, here it is. I'm so stoked it's finally here. This is seriously the most hyped book ever <laughs> I'm exaggerating of course but it's so hyped like I cannot go anywhere online without seeing this book I can only hope it lives up to the expectations I know a few people that have read it already so if you have don't tell me if you liked it or didn't like it I don't want to know I want to go in with a clean slate of knowing nothing when it comes to this book I'm aiming to read this one as soon as possible as early as next month I'm aiming we'll see then I finally decided to pick up the second book in the Dorothy Must Die series, which is The Wicked Will Rise. My really, really great friend Ethan from One Guy's Guide to Goodreads, who I talk about all the time, has read this book. He didn't love it as much as the first, but he, you know, it's part of the series, so he appreciated it. I'm hoping I don't feel the same way. I'm hoping I really, really enjoy this book. Ethan and I, you know, have a great love for the series, him more than me, because he is an Oz freak. But I'm really hoping that because I'm not as Oz freaky as he is, I'll like this a little bit more maybe because I'm not as critical because I don't have the whole Oz passion slash background that he does. But I'm really hoping I like this. It's super short in comparison to the first book, which I'm hoping this doesn't have middle book syndrome. I'm really hoping that this is not like middle book syndrome where it's just filler or anything like that. I'm hoping some things of substance happen here. We shall see. Again, it was 20% off, so that's why I got it. Now, the second reason that I have this haul and I wanted to film this video is because you all know that my favorite classic of all time, I said it in a couple videos ago, maybe even my last video when I was filming the tag, um, Anne of Green Gables is my favorite. And I got a copy of it. It's a used copy, but I don't have this edition. And it's beautiful. It's so pretty and it was $4.99, so five bucks. And it's beautiful, it comes with a little ribbon bookmark thing. And it's just really pretty, I love it. I love it, I love it. It's kind of, it's, you know, well loved around the edges, so it's a little rip, there's a rip on the back here, but I consider this to be part of its charm. I actually love that it's been used and loved like this. And the pages just feel beautiful. And the font is beautiful, I just, ugh. Oh, I seriously am in love and there are a few pictures in here that are pretty awesome too I am just really excited to even have this edition so I needed to pick it up it was only five dollars and uh, I think the cover is absolutely fantastic I am so excited to own this it just makes me want to reread the series right now so this is the second reason. The second unexpected reason, because I didn't go into the store looking for this. It just happened to be there and I grabbed it. 
Now, I couldn't just stop there. I could have, but I didn't. I decided to go to the little mass market paperback section, which is a section I actually hate because I hate mass market paperbacks. But I have decided that I wanted to just grab a couple of paranormal romances. So I grabbed three and I tried to pick some by um, authors I haven't read before in this specific genre. Um, I was looking at Cressley Cole. Now, I haven't read Cressley Cole's adult novels. I've read her young adult novels with the um, Arcana, Arcana Chronicles. But I decided to pick up a Cressley Cole book. So this is Demon from the Dark, which is a book in the Immortals After Dark series. I don't know what series, what number this is. One, two, fifty. I don't know. Here's the cover right here. Um, but I don't think you need to read these in order. So that's why I didn't really care. Because I think if you had to read them in order, they would be numbered a little bit more obviously. Um, there were tons of books from this series. The reason why I picked this one is because it's the one with the cover that didn't bother me the most. Like, I don't know if my camera will focus because the font is a little wonky, but you see it's just a man's chest with that cool tattoo right there. I like the tattoo. And this was the one with the least disgusting cover in my opinion. So I said, let's go with this one. Not to mention it was a little, the prose, or the premise is a little interesting. And so I'm just really excited to have gotten another Cressley Cole book that's not young adult. Granted, her young adult books are pushing adult because they're really, you know, they're a little hypersexual, but I love it. And so I'm really excited to just read a paranormal romance that is adult from her. So, yay. you know, TMI, but it looks like I have cleavage from this angle. I do not, <laughs> but go me. Woo. <laughs> anyway, um, the second book or the second paperback or mass market paperback I got is by Sherilyn Kenyon. And this is Born of Night. And this is a league novel, I guess is what it's called. Um this oh this is an introduction book okay the creator of the number one best-selling dark hunter series introduces a sensational new world of the league so i got a first book of something here which is cool um i really like the premise of this one so i said hey let's pick it up let's have it i've never read a sherlyn kenyon um book before so i figured let's start with this one and then i was on my way to check out and then this spine caught my eye nothing really fascinating about it except just the color scheme i really liked it black purple and then blue this is Sherilyn kenyon with diane love called phantom in the night and i just really liked the simplicity of the cover which is really cool and so i decided to pick this one up just for the heck of it it was four bucks and i said hey let's just go for it so pick that up too so this was a completely random book haul. I don't quite know how this happened. I went in for this book and walked out with a total of six. Um, yeah, so go me or boo me or oh me. I don't know how I feel about this, but yeah, so that is the haul. That's what I got today on this beautiful, beautiful day in the Midwest. I am going to go chill for a little bit. I may be called into work later today, not quite sure, but I'm gonna enjoy the quiet and just the peace, you know, and the sunshine of today. I'm gonna chill and drink my strawberry kiwi snapple, which, you know, I've been addicted, I'm addicted to snapples right now. As a matter of fact, hold please. So good, so, so good. So I'm gonna go have lunch, chill, edit this video while I'm drinking my Snapple and I will see you guys later. So make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below with any thoughts on any of these books. Remember, please don't tell me whether or not you liked um, the Sabah Tahir book. I just don't wanna know anything about it. I don't wanna know a single thing about that book because I wanna go in completely blind. But the other books, feel free to tell me if you liked them, hated them, if you haven't read them, if you're interested. Um, yeah, just comment down below, thumbs up this video if you liked it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more. I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>